Yo, what's up guys, it's P9 back at it again with a new episode of Unturned Elva Survivor. In the last episode we got started, we built up a small one by one base, got a couple guns and some other gear. In this episode I will mainly be focusing on getting a gas mask done. Okay, quickly before we continue, make sure to check out my community discord guys, link is in the description, we can chat there and talk and whatever. And I also stream almost daily on Twitch which is the first link in the description, also make sure to check that one out and follow me there. Thank you. In order to craft the gas mask, we need a filter, chemicals, rubber, cloth, and civilian trash. Now, in order to craft the filter, we need mesh, rubber, and tape. And in order to craft the civilian trash, we need tape, a gyroscope, a phone, and a defibrillator. De de defibrillator battery. So this is the main goal for this video, just to get all the components ready. The full moon just started, like literally a minute ago, right as I joined the server. My skills are looking okay, not too great, and I'm also planning on getting them up definitely in this night here. I definitely need some food before anything, cause like, I'm slowly but surely dying here. Some cheese, and a waffle, that's pretty nice. A fish. So we could go to the hospital to farm the uh, defibrillator battery. I can't pronounce that, it's so hard. It's quite rare. I mean, now with the increased zombie spawn chance during the night, we might be able to find it. It's actually a secret spot if you jump up here, then go up here, then here, and then on top here. But there doesn't seem to be anything in here. A rifle magazine, a metal scrap, that's it. There's sometimes better loot up here. Ooh, that's a nice car. A blue ray. That is a really nice car. Yeah, I'm gonna take that one. Purification tablet, still no defibrillator thing. Ooh, I found a sauce up here. This is what I mean with secret loot location. Ooh, there we go. I'm going to move to the checkpoint Bravo here just to farm more XP. Cause the military zombies, I believe, give you more with the moon boost. Uh, it's gonna give me even more. There's an actual helicopter here. That is huge. Ooh, night vision and a pog. Pog. Ooh, there we have some mesh as well. Nice. That is the second thing we actually needed. What's left for the filter is tape and tape should not be too hard to get. I can take the suppressor off this pistol because I don't really need the pistol so I'm gonna scrap it as well. And I'm gonna slap that on the pog. That is a nice one. Ooh, we got a puck as well. Damn, there's so many guns right now. A horizontal grip? Oh, that's the first time I actually find a grip in this map. Okay, this gun is uh, starting to look really good. Oh, another puck. Once again, I'm bringing home a lot of weapons today. Holy shit. Well, full moon is about to end and my inventory is really, really stacked. So I think I'm going to head home very soon. All right, this should be it. I farmed quite a bit. My skills went up uh, quite a lot compared to before the moon. Okay, which one? Yellow or blue? Yellow or blue? Um, Let me check what has. Which one has more gas? This is 78%. This one has 53%. And the battery's dead on this one anyways. Ah, that's a really cool one. Um, Yeah, let's not talk about that, please. All right, and we are home. Oh, I need crafting too for like all the metal structures. Well, I guess I'm going to drop everything for now then. Farm some wood and build more wooden crates for now. Number one, two, and three. I have some more storage. Number one, number two, and number three. This is going to be a special story. All right, I'm going to put in everything that we need for a gas mask in the end, which is the battery for the civilian trash. The mesh is for the filter. And then we have 10 rubber, which is also for the filter, which I already had from the last episode. Left on the bucket list here is tape, a uh, gyroscope, a phone. We then also need chemicals and cloth. Can I get my car? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I'm. Oh, okay. I managed to get it out. All right. We are at the hospital again. First, we need chemicals. The one thing that we still didn't get from the hospital earlier. Oh, there we go. This only took a few seconds. And we found a tape as well. Ooh, we're at the military base right now. Moving towards the construction site. And I see a lot of zombies here. There's a mega zombie, which we uh, 
we can definitely go for. I do have enough ammo. This should be possible. Especially for the XP we need. Th this is gonna be really good. Oh, this gun has quite a bit of recoil. I didn't expect it, to be honest. But we good for now, we good. I don't think it will take that many more hits. There we go. A tusk, a more high cal, a vest, a bit of, a bit more ammo, uh, a canteen, yeah, which I can use. This is what I'm aiming to loot. I have never been inside of those, like very far inside of those, uh, where the dead zone begins. Um, nor have I seen any videos on how it looks like down there. So it, it's going to be completely new to me. I have no idea. Crafting two, there we go. Gyroscope gyroscope i need a gyroscope all right at the demolition side now and hope to find that gyroscope i can take that generator mm, i'm finding everything but the stuff i do need that is kind of kind of weird Ooh, a gyroscope there we go okay we're in the mall now on the first time in this entire serious for me to be in a mall the green crystal is here can i farm it is the question or do i need like a jackhammer or like a pickaxe for it all right so what's what skysoft game start where hardware where hardware where's store where hmm. okay let's break in wait what is that Heavy barrel? Oh my god, plus 10% damage, minus 35% spread, bullet drop. Oh my god, damn. Wait, is that thing rare? Heavy barrel on this gun, that looks interesting. Ooh, a Skylark. Nice. So I need to see what can I throw out of my inventory to store those guns. Ooh, Heikel as well. Oh no, never mind, I just dropped it. I'm, I'm stupid. I know that you can find phones in the tech stores or in game starts. Um, so what exactly in here is considered a tech store? Ooh, a telescope. I know that you need a telescope for a sentry gun. Oh, a second one. So I'm gonna pick that up as well and just keep it for now. Maybe one day I'll build some sentry guns, some turrets to defend my base from raiders. Door store? A scrub city? Um, oh, there's a- Oh, wait a second. Green crystal? Boom, boom. Yes, that actually works. Ah, there we go. Oh, we got a bunch. Self-defense. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Self-defense. Which is kind of cool. There's a park here. But what I can do is craft a, a staff. Bada boom. And this thing has 83 player damage. Just for comparison, a military knife has 50 player damage. And that one is crazy already. I get kills with the military knife all the time. Like, imagine this bad boy here. <sighs> that staff does a that's actually nuts that staff does a one tap put the left click onto a zombie i think i'm going to head home it is getting dark slowly but surely and also my inventory is full again with some really uh cool stuff and i really don't want to lose it cyan die cyan skylark Hey, where's my Skylark? Hey, I got scammed of a Skylark, dude. What happened to my Skylark? I'm confused. You know what I completely forgot? There's slash home on the server and I've not used it a single time. So, I found the gyroscopter, which is for the civilian trash. I found the one tape and chemicals, which we need later on. I am going to spend a little bit time now into um, organizing all the uh, crates and everything, just so I know w what's what's what, because right now this is pretty messy. Alright, before I go and search for the other components, I do need a bit of a bigger base. Because I currently do not have an airlock and if there's someone door camping, you could just jump in the base as soon as I open my door. 
So obviously I don't want that to happen. So what I'm gonna do is I'll get some more wood to then increase my base a little bit. There we go. A pillar. Wall. One doorway. And one roof. Grab some metal out of my metal container here. Metal door. And there we go, perfect. So right as I wanted to leave, I heard something really strange in the air. That a player. Yes, it was. Someone maybe jump out. People roaming around with a with a helicopter. Jesus Christ. Okay, that kind of scared me. Not gonna lie. Oh, there they are. Shit. What are they doing? They definitely saw me. Ah, oh, they wanna land. They wanna land. Now they're coming back. Okay, they landed. Is he friendly? Yo. I'm friendly. Don't seem to have guns. Or did they just pull out a gun? I could have killed them already, man. Don't pull out a gun now. Come on. Don't make me regret my decision of not going for the kill. Okay, well, I'm going to dip anyways. So here's the thing. There were three people. I was one. I'm sure I could have killed them easily there if I really wanted to. The problem is they flew right over my base and they saw there were chopped trees around and it was an active player. So killing them, yeah, would maybe give me some gear. But also increase the risk of getting raided there. Also, these guys didn't seem to have the best gear on them so i think overall it was a good decision not to go for these kills still need the phone though please need phones yes i oh, found the phone let's go oh in the weep store and the saws thank you very much all right time to head back home and this time i do remember that there is commands on the server and <laughs> I can just use the slash home, which I didn't do a single time so far. I have a gyroscope here. I have two tapes in total here. And I have the phone. Alright, so if my calculations were right, I can take everything in my inventory now. I do need some cloth though. And don't tell me I don't have any cloth now. It seems like they renamed civilian trash to components. On the guide I was looking at, it was still called civilian trash. Okay, so let me craft one component. There we go. I can then craft... Oh, I need two more tape for the filter. Ah, oh, I need more tape then. I, my calculations were not right, certainly. I'll be back. I'm also going to show you another secret loot location. You can actually go up here. Yes. Pipe, and you find uh, some higher tier loot up here as well. So obviously we are going for the gas mask in this episode. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do in the next one. Whether it's um, creating a horde beacon, maybe going for some save zone quest, or actually you do need a horde beacon to get to the safe zone, so maybe that's the video. Is it building a bigger base, or do you think I should farm more components or whatever? Oh, wait, they're still here. Wait, is this unlocked or is this locked? Uh, it's locked. So how can you, um, like, unlock something? Do you need, like, uh, some sort of really, really item? Or what is it on that map? Ooh, another Skylark. Okay, the helicopter's actually starting again. I wonder to where they're going, to where their base is. Because they need to have a base, I'm guessing. They're going towards here. Duct tape, duct tape. All I need right now is some more duct tape. Oh, there's a weapon store here. Chiba weapon store. I didn't know this one existed. What can we find here? A uh, sight. Sights are always kind of nice. A valentine. Ooh, a jerry can. Yellow die, yellow skylark. Oh, I didn't get scammed this time. Ooh, okay, there's one tape. Oh, there we go. 
right on here. That is our second tape and that should be it. If not, then shoot me. All right, let's do it again. If my calculations were right, like I said earlier, I am able to craft one filter now. Perfect. And with that filter, finally, I am able to craft a respirator mask, a gas mask. There we go. This is the item. I have been grinding for quite a bit today. Finally, here it is, boys. Here it is. There we go. A respirator mask. Pretty cool. Now, of course, I'm not just going to end the video right as I crafted the mask. Of course, I'm going to try it out, right? I mean, I want to see what's in those underground tunnels. Now, I know that in the safe zone, um, you can sell stuff for XP or for like, some sort of currency and then also buy things for this currency as well. Some like in uh, Escape from Unturn of a bit. But I do not have access to the safe zone yet. I don't know if the gas mask is way easier uh, obtainable in the safe zone or so. Um, but I am saving up all the guns. I'm storing them. And once I have safe zone access, I can then sell everything and maybe buy something really neat. Oh, there's a mega I could go for. And here we are, boys and girls, 67, whatever that means, that zone, let's go. So I don't have too much time in here, I believe. Oh shit, okay, they're kind of strong though, they're kind of strong, and I don't have too much time in the that zone. Okay, I need to be a bit faster. A little bit faster. A uh, tusk, a rubber. Um, a wisp, a puck, another tusk. That's some good loot here. Another tusk. Oh, this is, this is a big area. A wisp. A, uh, another wisp. Another one. A tusk. Oh, there we go. I'm already running out of storage. Gonna put that in here quickly. And then I'm only going to take the better guns. I'm not going to take these ones right now. What exactly looking for another night vision. Yeah, you need more filters to loot everything, uh, I think. Oh. They're reaching me. That is not good. Please, fuck off, Mr. Zombies. But they give me 20 experience per kill. That's actually huge. That is a lot. That is really much. Okay, I'm running out of um, ammo. And I'm out of ammo. <laughs> Let me take the task here. I think this one is better for killing uh, these zombies here, definitely. Oh, my gas mask is running out. I'm wasting way too much time with that. I wasted way too much time. I found a military radio. I think that's good. Well, there is missing blue key cards. Oh, there's different key cards. Well, I didn't know that, for example. It's a bunch of... What is this? Something I don't need. What do I? A puck. Something I don't need. Um, more guns. More guns, more guns. Is this a military radio I see here? Another one, yes. Uh, oh, man. I didn't, I didn't even get to loot a lot. Come on, something. Another task. 
Well, I... Sorry. Well, I think your task is better than this, maybe? Tusk, tusk, tusk. Tusks everywhere. Uh, I think this is it. This is all we were managed... Uh, we managed to loot. Now let me do slash home before I die here. And this was it, guys. That was my first time in the dead zone. I, like I said, I had no idea how it looked like and everything. But this was wild. There was like zombies. The zombie tanked like, I don't know, like what. Um, I feel like it's better to take a tusk or like a, even another gun. Let me know which gun is the best to like do raids like the uh, dead zone raids. But this is what we ended up getting. A bunch of tusks. Well, are tusks even good? Wait, they're high cal, right? They're high caliber damage. So they do structure damage. Means that you can raid with them, I'm guessing. Well, that is good to know. So what's the military raid? You place a sick beats. Wait, it does? Wait, you can place it? All right, guys. Um, that's it with the second episode. I really hope you did enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe not to miss out on new episodes. I will see you guys in the next one. And bye.